Hey everybody, welcome back. Issues, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Let's do Batman, The Dark Knight. I, I mean, Batman, The Detective, from oh. Tom Taylor and Andy Kubert. When this was solicited, it was Batman, The Dark Knight. And then somebody went, the, the most seminal graphic novel of all time, starring Batman, is called The Dark Knight Returns. Could you please not do that? And they just went, oh, well, he's kind of a detective in this. Let's call it Batman, The Detective. <laughs> Is the detective always kind of a detective? Before being yes. Dark. And I remember having like a real significant criticism when this was coming out, being like, he like barely detects. <laughs> and it's like, that's because it's not really about that. Because <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be called that. No. Sorry. You oops. What about Batman the Vigilante? Because he's no, because he's not really. I mean he is, but like that's not really a it, well, Batman the superhero. <laughs> uh he is not super. <laughs> Batman the character. <laughs> <laughs> Batman the comic book. There Batman, we go. The Batman, Batman the t shirt. As a Batman, bat. Batman the flamethrower. <laughs> Tom Taylor comes on to doing this idea. As I understand it, the uh, the editor and Andy Kubert had the idea in the first place and then came to Tom Taylor. Tom Taylor's like, I got an idea that's similar to that. Let's let's make it happen. And they went for it. I really like to give some kind of context for these stories, but like mm. every once in a while, there's like a book that comes out and somebody just doesn't want to tell you anything about it and give you any, and I feel like in today's world, we should know like everything about it. Like right. there, Tom Taylor should have had a goddamn blog or a video series where he yeah. explains how he made this it's whole so thing. It's so easy to get, like why is yep. it out there? Well, and everyone's yep. willing to give it up. Like how come I don't know it all? And how is it that I have more context thanks to like a forward and an afterward in a 40 year old trade than I do for this goddamn book that came out last April? The only thing that's really of interest that's really out of the norm is the fact that like it was called something before and then it was called this. And because we do live in the future, uh, the original solicitations are in high resolution of the original cover. So <laughs> they might as well put it in the book. But yeah, and something that Ethan and I remarked on earlier is that for some reason, the first printing of the hardcover is like super light. And yeah. I, I don't know what to make heads or tails of out of this. I don't even know if it's really worth even talking about, but like. What the hell, we'll talk about it anyway. What we're talking about anyway, it's our show, $25 yeah. for a hardcover. You know, and part of the reason you're paying the $25 is because yeah, there's nothing in between. It's so like I could just snap it in half. Right, I don't know. And it could be because it came out during the lockdowns, it could be because... Well, they run out of paper? Well, there, there is a paper shortage. Uh, yeah, the they paper needed 20 toilet paper. Thinner. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the original printings, I think, are on better paper than the hardcover. Maybe they wanted to make the paper thin enough so you could use it as toilet paper when you were done reading. There we go. Yeah, that's what every creator and artist wants. <laughs> hey, you know, make it thin enough so that people can wipe their ass with it. Well, well in desperate times. Exactly. That makes it, that increases the value actually, because you can use it for two different things. This is the printing I would expect on a trade paperback. Yeah. Not on not a hardcover. Hard cover, and yeah. I guarantee you the there is virtually no difference between the printings between the covers of this and the softback. Yeah. It's weird. And I think the hardcovers all, I think they used a lower quality, cover. rigidity yeah. paper stock for the cover. Yeah, this one ain't gonna stop a bullet. No. no. <laughs> Which again, if you're looking for the versatility of your comic books, <laughs> it's, I would not recommend it. it. It looks from the art like they're really going for the Dark Knight Returns look. Oh yeah. So like that makes it really weird well, that they didn't just call it that. Andy Kubert did draw Dark Knight 3 The Master Race. Okay, so the context for this story is that it is set in the future and it is about an older Batman, but it's not in the Dark Knight Returns universe, which is probably another reason why they had to change the goddamn title. Uh, yeah, we haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. I don't even think it's in that timeline. I think oh. it's just, it's another timeline where Batman is old and grizzled and world weary. Hmm. But less, <laughs> the reason why you haven't heard about this book is because it's less impactful. It's, it's, a, it's a Batman adventure story, hmm. but he's older. Right. The it's thing, not really necessary. No. So, so those are bifocal <laughs> goggles he's wearing on his right, head. Right, yeah, he yeah. needs those <laughs> to read. <laughs> and it, by the way, it is cool looking. And it's drawn by Andy Kubert, so it's even cooler than it would be normally. Right. Is so. his backstory the backstory of current Batman? Yeah, it's all okay. Batman. It's the all same right. Batman you know. It's okay. just that now it's however well, this, many years. This could later. be the future of our Batman. It could be. Batman. Yeah, that's it might, true. Doesn't necessarily have to be an alternate version. No, that's true. Batman. That's true. It won't. But it will be because it's not going to be this. That's when right. We get to whatever time this is set. Well, and okay, <laughs> Whoa, so he's got a belt inside and he has a belt outside on yeah. the jacket. Yeah, he's got redundant belts. What? Well, Batman's all about having a backup plan. That you is know? weird looking. What if he loses the cape slash coat? He'll still need a belt. Well, but 
if he only has a belt on the inside, he has a belt either way. That's true, but he can't reach the belt because of his damn coat. So maybe so the coat's a problem. Maybe the coat is superfluous. Well, but it is cool looking and that's what's important. Okay, if you're gonna draw it where he has to get to his belt, you're the artist. You that's can draw it. You can move the coat aside. That's true, that's true. Yeah, but it's hard. He's gotta do an extra motion to Plus, sweep like, aside. Plus, I like the silhouette of the Batman having the belt visible. Right. But I also wanna get that coat in there. If you can't see the belt, how will you know it's Batman? That's right. Well, Every, is, the, one of the main things about Batman is that utility belt. Yeah. Agreed. Which is true. That, that is a, that's not just like it's, a but, joke. That's like yeah. reality. But it's like number four. <laughs> right. You know, it's like the cowl, the cape, the emblem. So we're on a plane. It's over Lancashire, England. Uh, there's a uh, flight attendant or seemingly a flight attendant. She's counting the passengers and she counts off 147 passengers all accounted for. And then after she's done counting up the passengers, she puts on a parachute <laughs> and she says, ladies and gentlemen, sign? I just want you to know, this isn't really your fault. It's his fault. This is Batman's fault. And she puts on a Batman cowl, but it's a white Batman cowl. And I think it's white because it looks really interesting. <laughs> because who's ever seen a full white Batman costume? You'll see a bunch of those. I'm assuming this is Joker no. tied in? No he's Joker! White? Oh. No, it's forgivably no Joker. There's okay. one reference to Joker, and not that Joker did anything. It's more that someone throws Joker at Batman's face. You know, how come you didn't kill the Joker? He's killed uh, like millions of people. Right. Millions? I'm just making up. Okay. Because at this Although point. too many. Well, I mean, like. If, Enough that you should just kill him. Yes. <laughs> Well, if he's killed thousands of people and Batman's in his prime, if he's past his prime, yeah. you know, how many more thousands does Joker need to kill before you get to a million? There's an explosion on the plane. It starts to go down. Uh, there's an accomplice along with the flight attendant also puts on a, a, a white Batman cowl and they're trying to open up the door to escape right. when a young woman leaps into action and kicks them in the face and that's Beryl Hutchinson, AKA the Knight. Now, in this continent, okay, many years ago, they came up with this concept called Batman Incorporated, which was Batman going like, I'm gonna get global with Batman. Right. But and I can't be everywhere. I can't be everywhere, so he links up with all these other would-be Batman type people, including the England Batman and Robin, Knight and Squire. <laughs> okay. Who and already he, existed. Already right? existed, and okay. he's like, hey, um, how, about, oh, okay. how about Bruce Wayne backing and Batman training? Right. And basically just being like, you know, I'm doing such a bang up job in Gotham. Why don't I spread this all around and get some like a Batman in Madrid, a Batman right. in London, you know, everywhere. Right. That way I can really fuck up some shit. But, hmm. but. Uh, that way I can be responsible for all these crazy people <laughs> fucking up shit all over the world. Exactly. Yeah. But Beryl Hutchinson played Squire. She was Squire in our continuity, in the oh. main continuity. In this future, she was knight and has a new squire. Okay. So Beryl just is on this flight and is a badass and they don't know that she's knight. Right. So she's kicking their ass and they get the door open. And she's like, you're not running from this. And they're like, well, I guess you're coming with us then. And they all jump out the plane. Oh, so she's not gonna save that plane from crashing. Oh no. Oh. No, well, she she gets grabbed and pulled out of the plane. It's not like right. she goes, well, this is all left. I'm no. out of here. <laughs> no, I just mean she fails to save the plane. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah. Unequivocally. Yeah. So they... Uh, Did they, like, kill the pilots or something? There's an explosion they in the front of the, the plane. plane. My assumption it, is that they blow up, like, the the pl the pilots slash controls. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's at the cockpit. There's yeah, that'll do it. Do. So Hutchinson manages to land on one of the non-named evil doers in mm -hmm. the story and pulls the parachute, it's a little too late, they both land, but she lands on them. <laughs> <laughs> so they soften the blow. Oh yeah. yeah. Kinda yeah. like Point Break. Yes, which you know, if you're gonna steal from something, you better steal from the best, right? <laughs> the main antagonist of the story, wh whose name I don't wanna give away just yet, oh. because I think it's super dumb, oh. but <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it later. She's fine, mm -hmm. and she ends up shooting Hutchinson. You know, oh. just being like, Hutchinson's like, why, why are you doing this? And she says, it's all about equilibrium. Gun cutter. Yeah, that's right. No. Her name is Equilibrium. Wait, that's her name? That's what they call her in this story. That's the only, no one ever says, we gotta stop Equilibrium. But she always says, that's her line. She's like, it's all about Equilibrium. Right, so people just like, start calling her that at some point. She has no other cool pseudonym. Right. So, so. that's it. The, the, the antagonist is Equilibrium. Not like the Gun Kata 90s movie. <laughs> Which Entirely is also different from a that. relic like Rain of Fire that also stars Christian, Christian Bale. Bale. Yep. Oh, yeah. 
But yeah. Equal. Who was also Batman. That's right. By the way. Oh, bringing it all around. <laughs> In a movie called The Dark Knight. Which, which was this? the title of this book. <laughs> what? What? Plane so, crashes, everyone so, dies. So they crash the plane, everybody dies. And then a like helicopter that is clearly being operated by Equilibrium mm. leaves the scene of the crime and paints on a national monument, Batman 147. Meanwhile, in Gotham City, an older Bruce Wayne is brooding in his cave and he's lamenting the impact he's had on the world. Alfred is no longer with us, mm. and I don't know how long Alfred has been dead in this story, and they're very careful to not talk about it, but it seems to be more recently. And in the current continuity, Alfred is also dead, which was kind of confusing. Mm. You know, so I was like, wait, what? Like, what? But yeah, Alfred is passed, and this is what spurns Bruce on to leave. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's dead because he died. In, a in our no, but he and died. He's definitely more permanently dead. Yeah, see, this see? is definitely the this future. Shows. This is the true future of yeah. Batman. No, he died more recently in this. Like ah, he closer, had been alive. He had been alive longer. I see. What have I really done? Like, have I stopped crime? No. No. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Right, hey, but that's like, that was never going to happen, right, though. Right, like, you have I eradicated hate? Yeah. Unfortunately, no. Not today, anyway. But yeah. <laughs> it's always tomorrow but for he, that impossible mission. Exactly. Well, that's the idea. But he says that basically the only impact he's really had is direct impact on the people he has personally saved. Like, right. that's the only real... Which, by the way, is still not insignificant right. and should be celebrated because, of course... As is the lesson at the end of Quantum Leap, uh, one life touches another life touches another life. So it's like you you may have changed, like, let's say a, a thousand lives. Yeah. Those thousands of lives have touched other thousands. Yeah, but, so you've actually done so much good. But some in the of the world. lives he saved are bad guys who touch people in a bad way. Well, that's true, but let's not talk about that. Oh. <laughs> and it's not the. So I'm just saying, I don't story. know how to measure it. Well, it's, it's, we're gonna maybe to, it's not. We're going to have to get that equilibrium oh, the, going. Oh, so oh. he's like, my city is not safe. I haven't done any. I, I've only helped people directly. Alfred's gone. My family doesn't live here anymore. Why am I even still here? What am I even doing here? Well, there's a crime scene with my name on it in England. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna pack up my shit, I'm gonna leave my big cold empty house, <laughs> and I'm leaving probably forever. And you're like, what? what? And that's, that's like, weird. It's such a huge departure from Batman because Batman is inexorably connected to his city. I understand why Batman would want to go to England because occasionally Batman will go overseas yeah. to solve a crime. But not forever. But in this, yeah, but in this case, it seems like Batman is abandoning Gotham, abandoning the manor, and is his and is in his mission and just solving this crime. My butler died. I must go to the land of butlers and find a new one. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes to England. Uh, Alfred brought him there when he was 13. Alfred liked it. <laughs> Bruce did not. <laughs> Recounting Alfred's experience with him, he was like, he thought it was beautiful, I thought it was cold. Mm. I'm like, uh-huh. Well, that's why he's bringing the coat. Well, yeah. yeah he it's I've never needed this coat before. Yeah, because Gotham's an East Coast-based city. <laughs> There's never any other season but, like, hot summer. What? <laughs> so Batman goes to the scene of the crime of the airplane crash. Uh, he's talking to an unseen would be onlooker, but incorporating them into the conversation because this is. Didn't this just happen? Wouldn't there be like police swarming everywhere, yeah, cleaning like, up wreckage and getting evidence and shit? Yeah, well, maybe it was a few days ago because he had to get on a plane and stuff. So. Yeah, because Batman finds out about it on the news. Certainly, it's been addressed. Like they cleaned out the wreckage already. Right. And he's like, "Yeah, but what I have I have magic technology <laughs> that will look at other things." Right. I don't need the wreckage to solve this crime. Bingo. I am the best detective. Yeah, I am the detective. the detective. I'm gonna right. use a like laser device that's gonna scan the ground for the, okay, yeah. For the like imprints that the wreckage made on the grass. Yep. And that will reconstruct all the pieces of the wreckage from which I will reconstruct the entire plane and determine what happened. Now, do you need to do that because this scanner can also get fingerprints and oh. DNA and hair. Oh, nice. Well, he's, he can, I mean, I guess, I guess it will also scan for like remnants of human remains that and everything. all the people that trod all over the crime scene oh that's true yeah yeah, mm. yeah but it's it can it it's can like, differentiate it's time stamped so yeah, it knows time stamped, yeah, exactly. yeah it ignores all things that were there uh, after the uh, moment uh, of impact. carbon dating it, that is a word it's a word you can use that is yeah real. you can't carbon date days right Maybe you can in the future yeah <laughs> anyway so we meet squire the new squire 
mm. two knight and squire. Hutchinson didn't die in the attack from equilibrium. What? Yeah. And, she was shot. Yeah, and they didn't even bother. Listen, there's going to be a lot of bullet wounds in this comic, and you're just going to have to roll with it. <laughs> I'm going to need you to get all the way off my back about this. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> well, maybe it was intentionally a non kill shot. I feel like it shouldn't be. <laughs> well, well I'll, I'll reserve judgment until I know what happened. So he starts putting on these like crazy ass gauntlets, and she's like, What are the gloves for? Are you cold? And he's like, Well, there was a, a, a temperature drop. And he starts to explain like, all this technical bullshit. And he's just like, Look, walk towards me and don't turn around because behind you is a crazy ass ghost. It's Gentleman Ghost, who's an actual DC slash Batman villain. And uh, an actual ghost? And a literal ghost. Okay. But in this story, what? I guess, what? after the years, Gentleman Ghost becomes like a mutated, crazy ass monster. Can ghosts mutate? They ghosts are real, aren't real, so they can so do sure. anything. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can understand like that they can like change their appearance. Little known facts, ghosts smell like strawberries. Oh. Yeah. That's canon. <laughs> gentleman Ghost attacks Batman and he like grabs him. You know, he's like, and Batman remarks like, you're different looking, Gentleman Ghost. Like that's it. Just mm. Eddie Cooper didn't want to draw Gentleman Ghost the way he normally looks, which Gentleman Ghost wears a top hat and a monocle, but he's invisible. He wears like Dickensian outfits mm. and is invisible. Like his clothing yeah. is you not invisible. You see the clothing, the uh, hat and the monocle. Yeah. And that's it. And that's it. So he looks exactly like the Invisible Man. Yes. Well, the Invisible Man... You wouldn't be able to nah, tell the, the difference. The Invisible Man looks more like Negative Man from Doom Patrol. He wraps his, his head and... But, well, not, yeah, but if he didn't wear the wraps, not when he, wears right. the he would just be clothing That's over right. nothing. That's right. But the Invisible Man also doesn't dress like Jack the Ripper. Mm. Okay. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so he, he, he faces Gentleman Ghost. Gentleman Ghost is like, ah, oh, I can see your fear. Ah. What? Like, you don't, feel, you don't feel fear anymore, but you is are afraid. Is that your thing? You're a fear... Sure. Scarecrow, in this he is. Scarecrow. Well, no, he, he can. He, he has to touch you, and uh. in this, it's it's different. Like it's it's a new. You know, he's evolved, uh. so it's a new power set for for Gentleman Ghost. Right. But his he's like you are afraid of like failing other people. Like you're not afraid of dying anymore, hmm. but you are afraid of your impact on other people because like, you're afraid of the theme of the story. Right. And uh, so <laughs> then Batman grabs his ghostly hand and pulls it out of his heart because it's like an ethereal kind of like connection. Mm. Oh, so that's why I had the gloves that's on. That's why I had the gloves. So I can oh. touch ghosts. So I can, so I can beat the shit out of this ghost, which he does. He punches the, he punches Gentleman Ghost in the face <laughs> and then proceeds to just like beat him up and smack him into the ground and then, and then Gentleman Ghost just fucks off because Andy Kubert just wanted to draw Gentleman Ghost and not the one you know, like a new fun version uh, of Gentleman Ghost. So there's no impact to the story? None whatsoever. What? It's a reinforcement of the theme that Batman is. We're, we're showing you through this fun action sequence that Batman is afraid of letting down other people and about his impact, his larger impact on the world, which he mm. already reiterated in the cave. But let's let's see it again with this fun little like sequence of action. Also, we get a fun callback because how does Batman even have gauntlets that can grab ghosts? Well, he mentions in a interior monologue that John Constantine gave them to him. Uh, John Constantine won them by cheating at cards. <laughs> Mm. and uh, had no use for them because John Constantine does not get into fights because he'd much rather just run away from them. Like, you know, he's, he's a piece of shit. Right. Well, he'd have a conversation with the ghost instead of punching it. Yeah. I, I do like the line. It is a cool line where Gentleman Ghost goes away and Squire's like, you're just going to let him go? And Batman says, I have enough ghosts haunting me. Oh, I'm like, that's okay, that's pretty solid. Uh, that's a good line. That's why you put him in there. That's why he's in there. <laughs> that's why that scene is there. You know, you can imagine... <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe Cubert was like, I want to draw a gentleman ghost. And he's like, ghosts. Oh, well, Batman's haunted by a lot of ghosts. Oh, like, okay. All right. All right, we got okay. two pages. You get two pages of gentleman ghost. So he's got to look awesome, though. <laughs> he's got to be cool looking. No I don't want to draw like the invisible man. I want to draw the, 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 the this catfish monster. How am I supposed to show someone punching the invisible man? That's right. That's just dumb. That would be kind of look like I would something. like to see that, though. And Andy Cooper could render it beautifully. The idea of like you punch this invisible face with a monocle in it, you like you could draw the indentation of knuckles into nothing. You know, the monocle flies off, it's shattering. You know, you mm. could do, you could do some cool shit. But you know, monster. Anyway, so yeah. Batman goes to visit Hutchinson, and he's like, "Hey, hey, why are you still alive?" No, he, <laughs> we we just take that for granted. Where we're were you shot character. even? What is your wound? It, What's the prognosis? They don't even talk about it. We don't get into it. Hey, at least she's not. You know. Uh, it didn't hit her in the spine, right? I guess. But uh, he, she awakens, and he's like, "Hey, I gotta knock out all the monitoring equipment in the room. Don't worry, it's not gonna like turn off your, your like anything that's helping you be alive right now." Uh, anyway, how how you doing? Are you okay? She's like, "Yeah, I'm good. Like, 
I'm surprised you asked. And he's like, eh, Squire told me I need to ask you that first. Anyway, let's they get said to manners matter here. <laughs> yes, exactly. So what uh, I really want to ask is, why'd you blow up that plane? <laughs> no, Batman knows that she did not blow up that plane. <laughs> but he's like, listen, you gotta go. Like, we can't keep you here because, like, I've already cracked the mystery about why that plane was taken down. You are part of it and need to be taken to a safe house, mm. but you also need to be in a hospital because your wounds are nebulously serious. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna we're gonna take you out of here. I'm gonna transfer you to a different hospital that isn't this hospital. Yes, that's right. But a secret hospital. A secret. But not Mary Jane's from the Marvel <laughs> Universe on TV. Beryl is like, uh, did you impress the hell out of her? And he's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. She's like, come on. Yeah, you, you never miss an opportunity to impress one of us. And he goes, I may have punched a ghost. I punched a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and he says it with a wry smile. And she's like, there we go. Uh, okay. I know it. So he pops his suitcase open. He looks through the camera feed of the hospital because he already has a sneaking suspicion that someone's coming to kill Beryl, finish the job. Mm -hmm. And it is. It's equilibrium and her cadre of... Batman. Of Batman. Uh, With guns. Yep, and there is at least one, like, meta-human. They don't really yeah, get into some it. Some kind Batman, of giant person. Some kind of giant monster man. Uh, Batman refers to It has to an him. angry mouth. Yeah, he's he's the one where it's like, Andy Kubert's like, uh, I want to... This was originally called The Dark Knight. Like, maybe I'm trying to... Cuber drew Dark Knight 3. You know, like, maybe I'm, I, I want to get into that, like, mutant leader kind of thing. Like, mm. I want to draw some, like, you know, are they human or not kind of things. Right. It is expressly established that he is a human being, but Batman speculates about whether he's enhanced or whether he's like a metahuman of some kind. Yeah. He has to be because he's impossibly strong right. and he looks like a monster. Right, because no human looks like that. No, and or they try to big. they try to make us think that he's wearing a mask, but you know. I mean, but it's just his face. His hand yeah. covers this dude's entire head. Yes. He's yeah, like, not he's human. Solomon Grundy or Bane. <laughs> right, he's neither, he's, there's no no, I'm not saying he but is, yeah. Yeah, but he's, that's he's the, the equivalent. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Uh, so Squire is already there to help back up, and uh, you know she arrives to face off against the Equilibrium Bat people, mm -hmm. and just her between the two of them. And they've got like Uzis; they have no predilection about right. like you know skills. <laughs> right. They're just shooting people. But uh, she stands between like her mentor and you know certain death, and Batman like walks up and says, "That's all right." Mm -hmm. Like, get behind me. This. His monologue is very evocative of The Dark Knight Returns, where it's like, I'm old. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm older. This is, I, I need to be smarter about this fight. Mm. I take him down as quickly as possible with, like, precision. Uh, they, I also don't kill them, but I don't have to save them. That's right. Well, he's not trying. He does not murder anyone in this story. Mm. He knocked a giant monster person out of the window. That's, that's one of those things where it's like, a, acceptable losses. B, he's enhanced in some way. Yeah, like, so you have to believe he's survive. survive. Yeah. yeah. Look at how big he is. Well, out of He'll all of them, my biggest... Uh, my, my that's least... more inertia, Ethan. <laughs> that just means he's going to hit the ground There's, harder. Right. That was a rough landing. Oh, God, I got I to gotta stop doing this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I got to do this. I got to be smarter. I'm getting too old for this shit. Well, and then he finds out like they actually know how to fight, too. So he's like, oh, oh shit, oh, okay. No. So it's just a big, fun like action sequence where Batman beats the crap out of them. But uh, then more equilibrium people in bat costumes show up on a boat. <laughs> a boat? Yep. And, uh, you know, Batman's like, okay, uh, I'm bailing. There's too many of them. Yep, so he just just bat propels himself back to Hutchinson's room. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, they left. We're good. Right. They didn't leave. No, they left. So he, he like, somersaults away, mm -hmm. and they're just like, oh, I guess we're done. Well, yeah, yeah, the mission was blown. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But they had one shot. They're there to, like, rescue the people who failed the mission. I exactly. Assume. Yeah. But I love it because when he comes back up, he has, like, this bat line that he's just hanging on to, and <laughs> Squire's like, what's on the other end of that line? And he's like, hopefully answers. And it's just this one of the dudes. Ah, so we did get one. hanging, and he's yeah. like, all right, I'll interrogate him later, but I'll leave him there to think about what he's done for now. Uh, mm -hmm. So he... Uh, the whole Oops. thing, and this is just Batman, like the whole thing is more or less just killing time for his computer to certify database results that he was also trying to detect. Oh, detective. Oh. But uh, he's trying to figure out, and what he does is he discovers that everyone on the plane, the 147, were people that Batman has saved at some point in his career. What? How well, did they all shit. end up on that plane? Coordination from Equilibrium. Oh my God! You won a free trip, right? You got it. You, I'm rerouting you, but it was a it was a it was a flight from Gotham to London. 
Okay. That also explains how Hutchinson was on the flight in the first place. So, so they're trying to make sure that Batman hasn't done anything. Someone is trying to undo everything he's done. That is fucking That's not weird. Equilibrium. equilibrium. There's so many villains. Equilibrium is the evil leaper in the quantum leap analogy. <laughs> what? Okay. That's it. Okay. Right. Is there a good motivation? Sure. Okay. Well, it depends. Is there that's, a motivation? There is a motive. It's okay. not just like, woohoo, I'm a new Joker. Right. No. Wouldn't that be hilarious if not everything you did was for nothing? Is that <laughs> why that actually would the be? Opposite of Batman <laughs> with the white? Yeah. Yeah, he's a Dark Knight. Maybe that's why, you know, because originally it was called Dark Knight. Maybe it's like, well, I'm a. It's a cool image that completely breaks. I don't think it really holds up. I can't believe they didn't call him anti Batman. Mm. Like yeah. anti Venom. <laughs> right, anti Venom, yeah. Maybe that's they don't different... want to draw the parallels. Yeah. Plus, Equilibrium. It's a way better name. So Batman hangs the one member of the of, of the crew off of Big Ben. Oh, I, oh, I recognize I work, that I know one. what that is. I saw that one in real oh, life. Oh, they're in London. I know that place. <laughs> so he interrogates this dude. Uh, the dude doesn't give him anything. Mm. Uh, but, you know, Batman scares him enough to say that, like, she wears a mask. She doesn't give, his in she doesn't give her information about equilibrium doesn't reveal who she is. Right. But she does pay very well. Mm. And uh, so he he drops him and lets him lets him leave. He lets him leave. Yeah. Well, because and Squire is like, "What the fuck? You let him go?" And he's like, "Yeah. Well, obviously, I'm gonna track him. Yeah, I'm gonna follow him back to base. Yeah. yeah. Like, hopefully, he'll lead us to Equilibrium. That's hopefully we'll 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 wrap this up in like two issues or less. Right. I no, already man, got one that, of them. I, this is practically solved. If that henchman exactly. got captured, they are leaving town. Oh yeah. You don't go back to the boss and be like. Oh, I spilled the bees on everything. That's I'm sorry. Exactly. Well, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't give her anything except yeah. that like she was well paid. But right. even but you then, you also don't go to the boss and be like, "I swear I didn't tell him anything." That's exactly what he does. <laughs> that's exactly what he does. Well, well I don't work, believe man. you. Blam. Oh, yeah. uh, that's exactly what happens. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, it's like you guys wrote it. But anyway, <laughs> Knight, the new Knight, former Squire, uh, is in the new safe hospital, which mm. we'll establish later. The secret oh, hospital. Oh, I, yes. I see Batman is driving on the other side of the car because he's in England now. That's right. Well, this is this is a London-based Batmobile. <laughs> and Squire's like, do you have cars in every city? He's like, most of them, yeah. <laughs> most of the big ones. Yeah, any of the big ones with roads. This is London. Yeah, yeah I have a car here. Yeah. What are you, crazy? I'm Bruce fucking Wayne. I got like eight cars here. Yeah. He <laughs> I also have a bat horse. <laughs> he has, you'll see, he, he will, he will, he will, deploy a bat-themed mode of transport that is like, okay. And it's Dang. not a bat train. He's not like the bat underground. Bat train it, would be tricky because you have to use public infrastructure that's true. in order Listen, to operate no, it. And there's there, other trains there is a in the book way and where shit. There is a bat train. There okay. straight up is a bat train. Nice. Please tell me it's not a bat hot air balloon. It is not. <laughs> oh, man. He goes to Holland and he's like, here we go. That would be amazing. <laughs> Wasted opportunity. So uh, Squire joins up with Batman. Right. And before we get into it, no, the new she's not a turncoat, evil, working oh. for equilibrium. It's not a like Trojan horse. All right. But uh, yeah, she wasn't no at the hospital to like be like, oh, good, you're here. Go kill my boss. Right, exactly. Right. But yeah, she's like, well, you know, I was in a foster family. I lost my parents. I don't know that. You know, yeah. it's a whole, you know the you story. Know. Yes, that's yeah. how we recruit you. Y yep. Yeah. Yeah, you're how else all, do everyone did. I'm the Fagin of the superhero community. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, she's like, in that, I was in a bad place. I had bad foster, you know, I had bad people taking care of me. And then Beryl showed up to my house. And he's like, why? And she's like, I guess to rescue me. And he goes, yeah, but like, why you though? Like, why did you, why did she rescue you? Mm. And she's like, wow, thanks. I, out of all the urchins. Right, out of all the children what you makes need you help. Special? Why are you so special? She's like, fuck I you. can't see it from where I'm sitting. Right, yeah. she's like, fuck you, man. <laughs> so we find out that uh, deep underground beneath Piccadilly Square, is a secret hospital that is not run by Batman, mm. but is also known by Batman that Batman was taken to in his younger years uh, by a mentor. Hutchinson's who there. Who uses this secret hospital? Who's it for? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, those who do not want to be found, oh. but also so most are criminals. So it's a crime hospital. I guess. <laughs> I, I, they, they seem to be pretty altruistic people. Right. I, but I also don't see them all wearing capes, so I have no idea. Okay. And it also is non-existent anywhere else, so you know it can be whatever you want it to be. Sure. But this was the hospital for all the prostitutes oh, during yeah. the Industrial Revolution of Europe. Right, and then they were like, well, you know, now that's less of an issue. Let's turn into like a, a you know, 
a hospital for capes. Yeah, or for Batman. Batman tells a story about how he joined the hospital. Uh, an old mentor of his, Henry Ducard, knew about it and brought Batman to there when they were on a mission together. I can't believe it wasn't Thomas Wayne being like, look, sometimes people need access to good health care no! and they can't take it. Yeah, and so he created a secret hospital in another goddamn country. <laughs> yeah. No. Not even created well, they're it, all like, over knew the about place. it. Right, yeah. Like, like with Chicago, someone volunteered. Yeah. It's like, son, no, this is an important part that, of the world. Uh, that, I guess that'd be interesting, but in this case, it's just, it's irrespective. Maybe because it's like made to be less convenient but, uh, but Ducard knows about it because Ducard knows about all his underground shit anyway. Sure. Uh, Ducard, of course, was uh, a, one of Sounds Batman's familiar. mentors. Well, uh, Liam Neeson played uh, the, the fake Henry Ducard oh, in Batman Begins, okay. uh, which was frustrating because uh, Henry Ducard's a real character. Right. And then to find out it's just a pseudonym for Ra's al Ghul was like, no, right. no that's, that's kind it's of a kind of a But that's not Easter who Henry egg. Ducard yeah. is. Yeah. 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 But Henry Ducard. Yeah, but that's not what he that's did. That's technically not Henry uh, Ducard. But uh, yeah, and I remember like being surprised at how recently Ducard was invented because I, I, when I was growing up, Ducard was like just an essential. He, you know, Batman. He'd been around. He'd been well. It seemed like he had. It, when you look back at like the history of Batman, tr Batman's training regimen, like when he became, mm -hmm. like when he was from orphandom to Batmandom. <laughs> Like, uh -huh. you, know, he, you know, he goes all, all over the place. Oh, yeah, there's multiple Yeah, he learns everywhere. Yeah, training. and like, one of the few that has a name <laughs> is Henry Ducard. <laughs> so it's like, oh, so he's a part of the mythos. Yes. Like, yeah. from a ways back. Yeah. But at the same time, it's still recent. Yeah, 89 was when Ducard was oh, invented. Okay. I was like, wow, really? Oh. That, that recently? Okay, well, cool. Uh, and by recently, I guess I mean like 40 years ago. Wow. <laughs> but uh, for some reason, you said 89, and all I could hear was Deckard. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, but that was earlier. That's, that's entirely different. That's completely different. Uh, they do wear coats, though. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but, oh, uh, I'm sorry, not Deckard, Eckert. Mm. Who's Eckert? Eckhart. Eckhart. From Batman 89. Yeah. You were th you, see, that's funny, because you said Deckard. Yeah. Like, Blade Runner, yep. who wears a coat, wears a and was coat. in a movie from the 80s. But really, you meant Eckhart, the guy who played <laughs> Jack Porkins in Star Wars, who was in Batman 89. I don't know how that connects, but it's still pretty fun. <laughs> Henry Ducard is essential to the story. So I'll just oh, give it a little bit okay. back. But like Henry Ducard taught Batman, Bruce Wayne, how to like find, he's the biggest, he's the best man hunter that ah, Bruce Wayne could ever find. Okay. Specifically, uh, he taught him that. Yes. Okay. And, That's and why interrogation Batman do and that. detecting. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, some detecting, you know. Batman learned a lot of detection across the many different uh, mentors, but mm -hmm. Ducard was kind of like a total package, uh. but also a total scumbag too, you know? Oh, he's, in continuity yeah, or in, continu in this? Yes, in both. Okay. Like, well, okay. and in this, it's like, you you kind of, like, I remember when Batman would encounter Ducard and I was like, oh my God, like in, when I was a kid. This like, guy. But yeah, but in this book, he's just, he's so affable. Like, he's a son of a bitch, mm. but you can't help but love him. And uh, Batman learned of their discretion. You know, like he was, Batman was injured and they wouldn't take his mask off before also operating on him. Right. So the stoolie goes to Equilibrium and she's like, y you escaped from Batman. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm just, like, a, no, you I'm just that good. She's like, no. No one's that <laughs> No, good. you were released right. as a spy. So she makes them like rip all his clothes off. He's like, I checked, I, I changed, I showered, I like, and then I came here. I'm not an idiot. And so she puts on these special goggles uh -huh. and she looks at his flesh yeah. and sees that subdermally there is a tracker. Yeah. He could have been irradiated. Right. Why did you let him in? Oh, because... Uh, <laughs> if you thought he was being tracked. Yeah, I don't know. Because she's so angry with him. Uh, but I, I guess, guess like he got close enough that it's like, well, there's no, there's no way. It's already blown. Like yeah. they already, he already knows where we are. Exactly. That but is a subdermal tracker in the shape of a bat. That's right. Of course. I thought it would just be like a little. A little dot dot get a that pill. in him. Right. Well, you know, he beat the shit out of him, so I'm guessing he was just like. Subway was just like. Hush! Yep. <laughs> and he didn't notice. Well, you know. That he had a bat. What if he was unconscious well, and he did it like surgically? Uh, that that oh, could maybe. be. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, the fact is, if you're being punched from all sides and you feel a slight cut. Right. During like that I'm beating. covered in cuts. I got bruises and cut. everything hurts. Okay, yeah. if you have a splinter, you know every time you move that you have a yeah, splinter. Yeah, that's why he yeah. beats the sh That's why he breaks bones. Yeah. So you're more yeah, this focused guy's got on the many bigger pain. other injuries, yeah. Anyway, but th the reason why Equilibrium lets him come here mm. is because early in the conversation when she says, is it what you, es you, you escaped? And he goes, oh, it wasn't easy. Like I, I had to, I almost died, but Batman caught me and so I, I didn't die. And so at the end of the conversation, after she reveals the, the tracker, she says, so Batman saved you, you say? 
<laughs> he's like, what? Oh, no, no, not like that. She's like, then you shouldn't exist. Ah, <gasps> uh, okay. Oh, that's hilarious. So she blows his brains out. And uh, so Bruce Wayne takes uh, <laughs> the, a, a, a train from London to You Paris. said it wasn't a train. <laughs> no, it's not a bat train. No, Although, just a any, normal train. like Ghost Rider, any vehicle that Batman travels <laughs> in becomes bat a Batmobile. Oh. So Bruce Wayne's on the train. It's heading from London to, to France, to Paris. Oh, and, now we're uh, going to Paris. That's right, we're going to Paris. Oh. Here we go. There's an ongoing monologue where it's like I can hear I can hear running on the roof, and I wouldn't risk doing this out of costume, but I'm I'm in Paris, fuck it. So he goes on top of the uh, train. <laughs> like all right, let me check this out. Yeah, so he goes on top of the train and he uh, he, he tracks the uh, the would be like Runner. stalker, yeah, yeah. and uh, ends up into the the, uh, the the dining car, and wouldn't you know it, in the dining car is Henry Ducard. He, he greets him as Batman. Bruce Wayne like grabs him, but he's like, "Hey, Daniel, come on, don't don't give this away." And he goes, "No, no, 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 we're alone. I locked us in here." And he yeah. sees like you can see people like watching them. He's like, ah, but "Don't don't you know don't reveal anything too too overtly because there are people watching what's how, what's going on here." Right. So, yeah. Don't punch me too hard. Exactly. Well, don't beat me up. Don't, don't, don't cost sh- me. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah. So Ducard reveals that he's been following Bruce Wayne, Batman, at least for a day. Ah. Uh. And uh, knew because he saw the plane and the Batman 147. Like Ducard is a detective, he figured it out too. Uh, and he's like, so I'm here to, I'm here to help. And Bruce's like, I don't want your fucking help, man. What? Why like, would you well, do cause, that? Because well, you're here. We you're run here. into each other every time you're here. Uh, well, like I'm in Europe. I'm the European <laughs> character yeah, that you hang. We're gonna out have with. an adventure. We're gonna have an adventure. Like we do. I'm your men- I, I was your mentor, you know, and I'm inexorably connected to Equilibrium as well. Is it Henry with an eight with it's, an I at the it's end? It's an I, so it's Henri. So Henri. Yeah, Henri's Henri. card. Yeah, but I'm a, I'm an American, so I'm gonna say uh, it's Henry Duckard. Henry Duckard. Uh, Henry Duckard. That's it. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not gonna sound like oh, it's Henri Ducard. <laughs> We. Oui. <laughs> that was pretty good. But you know, there you go. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Now moving on. And now someone is going to be like, "That was a terrible French." Oh, I, that happens every fucking time I do any kind of accent. <laughs> Bruce Wayne is like very used to being like, "No." Right. Get I the don't need your help. Out of here. Well, also, like, you're a murderer. Well, like, I don't the need last... your help. Other right. than that time you saved my life. Well, uh, yeah. yeah. You should be in jail. There's like multiple times, and yes, right. like. The last time that we interacted, I arrested you. Mm. <laughs> so, no. And you're a murderer, and I don't work with filthy murderers, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Does someone saving Batman's life also have to die because they saved Batman, which in turn also <laughs> saved other people? <laughs> you know, that doesn't come up. It's only direct <laughs> impact. If Batman didn't... Like, you can't follow it too logically, because it's like, right. well, Batman <laughs> did save the world. <laughs> so, are you going to go on the moon and blow up the planet all equilibrium? I'm saying is I saved everyone so that counts you're included in exactly. that exactly yeah. like you know he's on the Justice League he, he saved multiple realities are you gonna team up with a Batman who laughs like but, but let's not go it's, not we're trying to ground thread. this story a little yeah. bit yeah that's a rabbit hole we don't need to go down. no we don't but uh yeah, he's like, come on, like we work together, I saved your life. He's like, yeah, and then I arrested you. And he's like, ah, I haven't forgotten that either, you son of a bitch. <laughs> but come on, like you're in my, you're coming to my city, let's do this. Ask a friend for help, man. You're older, which I also this, find interesting because Bruce Wayne is Batman old. Batman doesn't really look that much older. No, he it, looks like it, a punk. It depends on like when, uh, on how close we get to him. He looks like the Punisher. Yes, he does. Well, cause he's got like the shorter haircut. Yeah, but I think, the that's, I think they're implying the like, not, not only is it like more economical, the haircut, but also like he's losing his hair. Like he's mm. getting older. Cause you'll see like Dick Grayson later in the book and he's also like has a receding hairline and is getting older mm. and like, but the women look exactly the same age as they always did. And so does Ducard. Like Ducard looks probably the same age that he would ever be if he was training Batman. Right. But like, whatever. I mean. <laughs> Who cares? I'm not arguing, it looks cool. Right. I- is there inconsistency? Totally. But right. it's like, that's a style. Well, maybe it's out of continuity. In this universe, uh, the women are all younger yeah. <laughs> and the men are- Yeah, there was some ambiguous. kind of virus yeah. that rolled through the DC universe and ah. made all the women young, thin, and attractive. Yep, forever. But, uh, yeah, so Batman ends up going to Obenkampf and uh, he finds the body of the one guy and the entire building their former base has been scrubbed right and there's a note for batman says batman minus one next to the body ah yes another body you saved right nope nope he's like okay well and he notices things you know like there's some there's there's some scrapes in the ground which means equipment was moved so he's a detective Oh, he's Oh, is he bring out his computer and it just shows him what the equipment used to be? You know, he doesn't <laughs> use that scanner again. 
which I think is kind of a waste. He pulls up the scanner and it like scans the room and it brings up computers and it goes to one of the computers <laughs> and starts working on it. Uses it. Yeah. But he has yeah. to use the special gloves to, to yeah, do it. Yeah, only the gloves can interact with intangible objects that yeah. previously existed. Yeah, ghost of no, technology. Those are, that's time gloves. Those gloves can pierce <laughs> yes. through the fabric of time itself. Oh my god. Interact with, the, uh, with his chrono computer. That's awesome. That's got to be something. So, yeah. You just created it, something. It will be now. <laughs> we see Ducard and he's smoking a cigar in the middle of Paris and he's just enjoying himself. He's he's expecting Batman to show up. We see a dope image of Batman like in the in the doorway mm. with like bathed in light and uh it, it's not Batman. It's Equilibrium. Oh. Equilibrium. No. Oh. Batman saved you once, so that's that. And another dude is like you know, appears next to him with an Uzi in his head. I love the fucking use of like machine guns. Yeah. It's just like, uh, yeah, I'm dressed like Batman. I, I imply I have like skills and I'm right. gonna kick ass, but like I'm also just, I'm gonna, just gonna shoot you. Shoot you a lot. Guns just make it a just lot to get easier. It done. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, like that, but that, that's Ducar says that that oh, line. Yeah? He says guns make it easier, and Batman says lots of cowards seem to think so. Mm. And I was like, fair enough. <laughs> uh, Ducard's like just just as cool as a Frenchman. Just like mm. yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm just giving me some Yeah, such is life. Such is life. I, if, I, if it ends now, whatever. I read Camus. What, uh, what do you want from me? But he just says, if you, you know, say so. If you think about <laughs> it, uh, they're all going to die anyway, eventually. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, but... We're all dying, no, man. But, like, no one's going to die who makes me sad anymore. And that's what this is all about. So uh, Ducard just makes mincemeat of them. He, huh. he immediately hits the one bat character, knocks the Uzi out of his hand, and then blows him away with it. Uh, nice. And it shoots all the other bat characters that are dropping in until the metahuman shows up, and then uh. it's just all over bat. So the, the, Ducard's just getting, he's, he's in this big scrape of his bat characters as Batman is arriving. Uh. Batman's just a couple of steps, he's older, behind mm. equilibrium. He says, you won't escape him. And she goes, well, how can he when he's too busy saving you? Mm. So she blows him away like four times, and then just drops him. Batman catches him and uh, you know holds him there. And it's this really great like evocative image of like the year one moment of Batman like holding his parents, but mm. like you know he's just bleeding in the street. And she says he always fucking saves them. <laughs> Interesting. But it's not black label, so we we get the bleeps. We get the bleeps. Yeah. We know what it is. Yeah, we know what she uh, said. Yeah, but uh, this is the first time that Henri Ducard seems to die and then doesn't, despite the four slugs in his body. Uh, Batman no, I just shot him in non-vital parts to uh, hasten his descent so that his acceleration would increase yeah. as he fell to the yeah, earth. Yeah, those are speed holes. But <laughs> no, the impact. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Batman blasts into a hospital and demands that they treat him. Right. You were just at the underground hospital. Go That's there. In London. That, that was a different city. I'm in Paris now. They don't have the underground hospital here. Ah, I forgot this was Paris. <laughs> so uh, he, he explains that Ducard was wearing body armor. So two of the slugs were stopped, oh, but there okay. are still two others okay. in his abdomen. Okay. Uh, and then explains. So it's not very good body armor. Well, I mean, it should cover your entire yeah, that's true. torso. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes there's also penetration after it gets yeah, an impact. Yeah. yeah well, true. and uh, it was, it, the, the slugs went to his chest, but the other ones went to his abdomen. So like the blockage, I think he was only probably he was wearing like selective body armor. Like he was only yeah, wearing just it, like, like right here, yeah. right over his heart. Just right over that, yeah. yeah. It's like if I get shot in the stomach, I might survive. If I get shot in the heart, I'm dead. Right. But uh, he explains who he is, what his age is. He's 58. I'm like, no, he isn't. But whatever. Like look at his face. But uh, he's 58. his blood type. He's and his blood type. And they're like, how do you know so much? And he's like, no. Oh. And then we get a little flashback. What's uh, his blood type? Merlot. <laughs> Damn right. So we see like a flashback to. Young Bruce Wayne, he's in Paris, and this dude walks up to him and he says like, I don't know who you are. And Bruce Wayne's like, excuse me, And he goes, do not butcher my language, American. <laughs> yep. And uh, so he takes out a knife and he's like, you've been following me and I'm gonna fucking kill you. Oh. And then over them, Ducard arises, he's not following you, he's following me. <laughs> and I've been following you. But Ducard's just sitting at another table smoking uh. a cigarette. <laughs> And, uh, and the guy goes, oh, Ducard, au revoir, and then starts to shoot him, or is about to shoot him, and Bruce desperately dives in the way uh -huh. and beats the crap out of the, you know, this, this, this assailant, yeah. Yeah. and then pulls out, and I love his belt. Look at this, it's young Bruce Wayne, it's pre-Batman, and he's got this little, like, would-be utility belt Aww. under his coat. Yeah. So he pulls out some, some uh, handcuffs and, a, and like, place him under arrest. And yeah. He's like, you walk around with handcuffs. And he's like, oh, I'm working on something. You know, don't worry about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he goes, well, anyway, uh, you know, Ducard explains who he is. He's been wa he's a wanted man. 
and basically Interpol would, w was offering to pay a whole bunch of money. You just made me a boatload of cash. <laughs> so come on, walk and talk. So mm -hmm. Ducard delivers him to Interpol because Bruce Wayne doesn't really care. He's not trying to like make money. Yeah. He's trying to court Ducard into training him. Okay. So Ducard gets paid. Bruce, you know, and, and they had this really fun in interaction. I don't want to get into it too much, but it's just this cute moment where like, Ducard and Bruce. Bruce is like a stoic, humorless Bruce Wayne. He's like 17. Mm -hmm. And Ducard is obviously like a seasoned adult and he's this, you know, he's, he's a master manhunter and an assassin. And Yeah, if that's the age difference here, Ducard has to be like 80. So he's, he's you know, well, who are you? And he goes, uh, I'm not going to tell you who I am and I will pay you an obscene amount of money to keep it that way. Mm. And Ducard's like, oh, I love obscene amounts of money. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like let's get shit faced. <laughs> you, you look death in the face tonight. Come on. So, uh, you know, it's like seven in the morning. Bruce Wayne shows up at Ducard's place and he's like, I'm ready. And he goes, oh, no. What we do, we don't do in the daytime. <laughs> Least of all this early. This is for sleeping. This is for sleeping. Like, talk to me at no afternoon. <laughs> and then noon became three. And finally, like, they're just. Still afternoon. Yeah, technically afternoon. And uh, so they're talking, and he's just like, you know, Ducard has him, has him broken down. He doesn't know he's Bruce Wayne, mm -hmm. but he, has, he knows, he's like, who did you lose? Right. And he's like, oh, how do you, what makes you think that? Well, he's like, well, besides blah, blah, blah. the fact that, like, <laughs> you want to do this for a reason, you didn't try to save my life just because you want my training. You ran at him like you're trying to save every life. Mm. <laughs> and you're trying to stop one thing from happening in your past. Forget it. Bruce and Ducard like work together for a while and they train and they have a great time and you know, whatever. It's just it's yeah. a fun little just back and forth. And Batman story. learns to hunt people. Yes, he's become, and he's, you know, he's training under the world's greatest manhunter. Batman learns manhunting. Uh, and ultimately what Bruce decides to do because this is Bruce Wayne, he's Batman, is he's like, one day I'm going to have to break from Ducard. I'm gonna have to learn to do this by myself. So he leaves through Ducard's files of people who need to be found and he takes this like, this ghost of a man. This person who like, Everything about him is gone, erased, but they, they want him. And so he steals it from Ducard and he goes on his own. And what he ends up doing is... Steals he, it? Well, he takes... You know, a little unethical. Well, no, no, no. It's like he... They're working together. Mm -hmm. But he's like, okay, I'm going to take this. I'm going to solve this without Ducard. Because I need to prove myself. that I can do it. Yeah. So uh, he ends up on the wrong end of a gun. Like, it, it just falls apart. It goes we just cut to it. It's, he is tied up and beaten and at gunpoint by this like wanted man yeah and he's like okay so you know who are you are you oh grandpa kicked my ass yeah this yeah. grandpa kicked my kick my ass and uh, he's like what are you like are you an assassin are you fbi like what is this and then uh ducard arrives knocks in the the, <laughs> the doorway the old man turns to ducard he's like oh no it's ducard how did you find me and he goes i didn't the kid found you <laughs> and i found him <laughs> Like, that's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. Mm. And Bruce is tied to the chair. He's like, I wouldn't call it my finest work. <laughs> so Degard frees Bruce and like, you know, this son of a bitch is just like, when my employers find out about this, you know, you will never be able to work in this town ever again. Degard's like, oh, okay. Blam. <laughs> just blows yep. his head off. Well, that was the wrong thing to say. Blam. You know? And Bam yeah. is just like, why? What did you do? And he goes, well, like, it's pretty self-explanator. Yeah. Yeah. I blew his I, brains all over I would like long. to continue to work in this town. Yeah. Exactly. He goes, you didn't have to kill him. And he goes, oh, don't. Don't look at me like that. Uh, and then Batman attacks it. Well, Bruce Wayne. Uh -huh. He attacks him and they fight. And uh, yeah, it's it's sad, you know, because yeah. it's just like, don't. You know, Bruce is not fully trained yet. He's right. not quite there. Uh, so Ducard beats the shit out of him. And he's just like, sorry, bye. I guess it's not going to work out. Right. I guess to be. your training is now complete. <laughs> so uh, Bruce goes back to the safe house. It's empty. It's gone. Years later, Bruce Wayne is Batman now. Mm -hmm. uh, about 10 years ago, they say, when Bruce, when Bruce is in his prime. Mm -hmm. So we're so guessing, now? I'm guessing Bruce is probably 45. Mm. Oh, I'm so old and retiring. Useless. I mean, like, he's jumping out windows. You know, if I jumped out of a window and I landed on a dude, I'd lose a couple of ribs. <laughs> yeah, but uh, how often do you train like Batman? That's true. Yeah. And I'm not 45. Some crazy person, and they don't attribute it to anybody, but somebody obtains a nuclear device and they're threatening to destroy London. So Bruce, right now? No, no, or 10 no years flashback. ago. The, oh, another okay. flashback. Okay. So uh, Batman is deployed to investigate, and what he ends up doing is he finds that the dude who took the device has already been assassinated. You know, Batman and Ducard are now face to face. It's like, I guess it's like a retconning of their first meeting. Mm. They're like, hey, it's you, Bruce. <laughs> 
hey, okay, so I know what this looks like. And then Batman immediately throws a batarang at his head. Nah. And uh, and they have this, this like, fight. You know, Bruce is, of course, better now. Right. And, it's uh, Batman now. Yeah. Uh, Ducard does get a slice in on his chest, mm. but just to stop him. Yeah. And he goes, no, 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 dude, I didn't kill him. I need to defuse the bomb. I can't torture a dead man. <laughs> Like, he killed himself when I arrived. Uh. I don't know how to disarm a nuclear device, but I'm guessing Batman does, right? <laughs> and Batman's like, yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> I do. So Batman dis disarms it, and then Ducard takes Batman to the underground hospital to deal with the chest wound that he inflicted. Oh, uh, that's how he learns about the hospital. Exactly. Okay. Batman immediately arrests Ducard. He's like, you murdered that man. What, for the murder of that guy? <laughs> that old man? You murdered I... that man 10 years ago. Well, you don't have oh, any evidence. Man. Yes, I do. What? I was there. Yeah, Bruce Wayne will oh, testify against Oh, you're going to testify as Bruce Wayne. They, they, they just gloss right over it. Just Batman arrests him. Now, so my, get, my guess is Batman takes Ducard to, you know, Interpol or whatever, and Ducard parlays his friendships with other people who yeah. are in the department, or they just let him go because like, whatever. No, well, yeah, I don't know like, what I'm supposed to charge you with. It was someone wanted by Interpol. Interpol was probably like, Thanks. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I mean, Ten years ago? Fuck we don't it. care. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have assassinated he him. He took care of him, so. Exactly. Yeah. No, I'm good. We wanted him dead or alive. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so. But this is this is the, the, the fanaticism of Batman. This is Batman right. who's like, I don't work with people, and I don't trust them, and I'm and I'm. If all... you murder one person, that's it. Yeah, and I have a strict adherence to the rules. Right. So, uh, Bruce. You and me, we're done professionally. That's right. <laughs> So Bruce Wayne is also staying at the hotel. This is in the current timeline now. We're in the present, which is the future. Uh, but Bruce Wayne is staying in a nice hotel, and the, the police have arrived. And he's like, hmm, okay, police want me. It's weird. Mm. Uh, the only, I, I don't have a lot of equipment here. I only had the, the, the bug that showed me the police were here, so I'll just take that out, <laughs> get rid of that. And I could leave. I could just jump out the window, but the fact that these police are here means that something's going on, they want me, I'd like to find out more information. So he opens the door and he's like, what's up? <laughs> what seems to be the trouble? What? Yes, exactly. So they arrest him for the murder of Henry Ducard. Ah, uh, okay. So Bruce is, you know, at Interpol headquarters. Uh, yeah, so he's being interviewed by these two Interpol agents uh, and he has like a glass of water and he, he's like drinking it. And they're like asking him questions. Like there was a, there was a note that they found that said Batman minus one. You know that note? They were like, what is that? Yeah, like, from, the, the from the dead guy, dead guy the, the yeah. informant, yeah. And uh, they're just like, yeah, so um, we've, so we've received several other messages like this. We know that there is something going on and it involves Batman. They proceed to show him like all these like photos of like a man who died in uh, a car crash in Dublin two weeks ago, a guy in Scotland who was killed, the three people who were killed. An entire train car of people who were murdered. How oh. about the wreckage of a plane with a well, Batman one fire war seven? Well, the, the wreckage, that's, that one everyone knows about, but here's yeah. a couple other photos. And uh, Bruce, all he could say about it is he's like, oh, I didn't know this was soda water. I thought you were going to get me like a drink. <laughs> I'm like, nah, you Europeans. Yeah. But, I know. thought you guys like liked alcohol. Right, like what the hell? This is an interrogation scene, man. That's we're a, not yeah. serving that's you. That's what they said. Yeah, they go, I'm Bruce Wayne. They go, this interrogation is right, not a restaurant. <laughs> So uh, why are they talking to Bruce Wayne about this though? Because they're like, well, Bruce Wayne was in all these cities, or at least the first few cities. Like you arrived in London shortly after uh, that plane went down. Okay. You arrived in Paris right after Henry Ducard is killed. Like right. we know there must be some kind of connection between you two. Also, you live in Gotham and Batman works in Gotham. Yes. Uh, there's also this sad moment where he's like, you know, they, he, they show Bruce all these photos of these dead people. And like, do you recognize any of them? And we see this like montage where he's like, Yeah, he says no, but he's like, I, I, remember, remember, I, recognize, I recognize all of them. them. Yeah. And it shows him rescuing all of them. Aww. The reason why we, we picked you up about Henry Ducard is because we have witnesses that saw you on a train to Paris talking heatedly with Henry Ducard. Maybe you want to explain yourself. Right. And he's like, Oh, um, yeah, I was there, and this uncouth gentleman bumped into me and we had words. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know about that. And they said, you didn't need to go to the dining car. They serve first class. Mm. And he's like, I don't like people serving me. And they go, didn't you have a butler 
<laughs> Too soon. Yeah. It's like, I don't like, like people not named Alfred serving me. Right. Well, he's like, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to get me to freak out. Because hmm. like, they know Alfred died recently. Right. So... Uh, then they explain because Descartes, Descartes mentions to Bruce, you know, like because he's staying at like the best ho like hotel in in, in Paris. Yeah. He stole Bruce's wa like wallet, <laughs> used his credit card to do it. Uh, but they're like, uh, can you explain the room in which Descartes was shot was paid for with your credit card? He goes, ah, oh, well that explains everything. Like I thought I lost my wallet on the train. That this this Descart fellow must have picked it up off of me, and so. They, they're like, all right, we've heard enough. Give us your hands. And he's like, why? And, and they're like, because... And they, so they put, the, they put the handcuffs on him. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I'm sorry. It's, it's getting a little warm in here. Would you, would you, could I have some more water? And they're like, no, you can't have any more water. It's, no, you're under arrest. What is wrong with you? <laughs> exactly. Uh, but as they start grilling him about Batman and how like maybe Bruce Wayne and Batman are connected in some way, oh. they don't assume he's Batman. But right. they do assume that he's funding him. Right. Uh, right. Bruce oh, I assumed oh, that they thought he was against him. Right. No, 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 no. They're assuming that, like, Bruce and Batman are in cahoots. But as they're interrogating him, Batman starts to sweat. Like, Bruce is just sweating. And he's like, hey, listen, like, yeah, like, I've met Batman a couple times. But, like, we don't have, like, any relationship. Listen, I really could use a glass of water. You, you, you know what else is getting warm in here? <laughs> and he's like, oh, shit. Like, that wasn't soda water. Oh, no. And he puts it together because he's like, the photos I saw are not crime scene photos. They didn't have tags or numbers. They were taken by Equilibrium oh. when, they, when she did them. Fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I am an idiot. She says, yeah, yeah, Batman's actually saved your life a couple of times, hasn't he? <gasps> and then she sneaks up behind him and stabs him in the shoulder with a knife. Oh, shit. Like, this woman who is impersonating an Interpol, Interpol officer is Equilibrium. Right. And she's like, yeah, I've seen photos of you and Batman together. You are not Batman. For a minute, I thought you might have been Batman, but Batman would not have drank the water. <laughs> Batman wouldn't be an he's idiot. Like, oh, and God. he's like, yeah, of course, Batman wouldn't yeah, be no, such a Batman's Batman. Batman's a moron like me. Never fucking Christ. Do that. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> so she's like, everything, everyone Batman ha saved has to die. A balance will be restored. We have to have equilibrium. And uh, so he passes out. Yeah. And uh, Batman and she uses, murders him. And she just kills him. Right? She kills him. Yeah. Well, she she lets she's he's he's drank poison. Oh, okay. And uh, so he he passes. What a very nonviolent way to kill. Well, she stabbed him in the shoulder too. Yeah. But uh, he uses an like old Tibetan method of slowing his heartbeat right, so that so the, the poison, poison doesn't travel any further right. and to give on a death-like appearance until they are satisfied and leave because of course we are actually in at our Interpol headquarters so these two impersonators need to leave right now right they can't stay there they forever. can't stick around yeah. so he's like okay I gotta figure this out yeah. and I gotta get out and of course like you know Batman if you had had like a robin or something <laughs> you, you'd be out of here by now right so he you know he pulls on the, on the handcuffs he rips himself out he grabs a chair throws it at the wall the actual like agents who were there are killed mm. he's like no and he knows who it is he's like oh that's officer Mornay oh I, I saved, saved him, him one time <laughs> yep so he takes his clothes he puts on the Interpol costume and he oh just like God. makes his way out and he bumps into Anissa Squire who's in her civilian outfit oh. with like a lawyer <laughs> Oh, shit. He's like, oh, were they coming to get him? Yeah, he's like, I mean, what are you doing here? She's like, well, I have a lawyer here to ba bail you out, but apparently uh, you got yourself out, so I guess we can just leave. Oh, <laughs> uh, your service is no longer needed. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> She's like, uh, so where to? He's like, I'm going to be dead in 10 minutes unless we fucking get into action. Uh, so they go to a pharmacy, and he just blasts through and grabs the pills he needs. <laughs> He's like, I need to get some freaking sodium nitrate right now. Like, I need to get some, uh, what was it, like charcoal pills. Yeah, activated he, charcoal. He's just like, <laughs> oh my god. And he goes, tell them that I, that I that I was poisoned by cyanide. Pass out. Wow. I dream of old friends, people I've loved, pushed away, lost the dead, and there are new ghosts. All the people that equilibrium is taking. I love this sequence. Just, mm. I dream of old friends, like Br Batman and or, uh, Wonder Woman and Superman. Where are they? What's their story? We don't touch it. They're not yeah. around anymore. Maybe he pissed him off. Right? <laughs> Probably. He doesn't work with anybody. Talk to him anymore, yeah. like he, he makes a point of like reestablishing the fact that like he's alone. So when he awakens, he's at another place, and uh, you know, Anissa set it up, and he's like, "How long have I been out?" She's like, two days." He goes, "That's too freaking long." How many people are dead? Mm. And she's like, we, like, "Maybe we should move on and yeah. just kind of focus." I said, "How many?" She's like, "Over two hundred people are dead." Oh my god! A number of people were killed on a raid. 
in Belgium and just shows them like just mowing down an entire restaurant of people. Last night there was a building fire. They they sealed the exits and just burned it to the ground. Jeez. He's like, we gotta go. She's like, you should probably get some rest because I've rested more in the last two days mm-hmm. than I have in years. I'm like, yep, that's awesome. What, has what he figured know? it out yet? Right. Like who this person is. Mm. Like what the like what the what the correlation is? Yeah, like what is it they're after? Like why do they want to kill all these people? Yeah, it. I mean, other than that, that they were saved by Batman. They like, explained why does that it, matter? but I don't know if Batman's figured it out yet. Okay. Uh, but I feel like he should have. He says we gotta we gotta go, and you have to buy fruit. What? So she buys okay. fruit at this market. And she shows up, and he's wearing his Batman costume or his detective Batman costume. Yeah. And she goes, "That was a very specific fruit order. Is that like some kind of code?" He's like, "Mm-hmm." What? Yeah, like if if someone goes to this like fruit shop in this city in Europe, orders this particular set of fruit uh, in the sequence, that will happen. send a message. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> so he goes, "Why did why did you come here? Like, what are you even doing in France?" And she goes, "Well, Hutchinson sent me. She said I need to follow you." And she's like, "Oh yeah, I know. We had a whole thing about how like she'd ask you, you'd say no, I'd come anyway. <laughs> so how about just skipping all that and have me be part of it?" And he's like, "Okay, cool." So they they were talking as they're leaving like the hotel like they were on the roof they get down and uh, in the street this massive fucking car thing arrives. <laughs> That's what he ordered. Yes. With the fruit. And then this young lady uh, comes out. She goes, I thought it was just another drill, but this, this you see this old English gentleman used to call me every few months to make sure that I would do it, but I haven't heard from him in a little while. Aww. And he goes, Yeah, he passed away. And she goes, He sounded kind. And he goes, He was. Mm. It's just really nice. Yeah, so he takes nice. the keys and he gets in, and she's like, "What?" And, you know, Anissa's is like, "What the fuck is this?" And he's like, "It's a, it's a mobile bat cave." <laughs> okay, nice. Which is going to be the base of operations from here on out. Right. It's my bat RV. Yep, it's <laughs> huge. It's like a uh, bus. So uh, there, he he's walking through the portable bat cave. She goes. She she notices a couple of toys on the on the dash or whatever, mm-hmm. and. Uh, on the dashboard is a miniature T-Rex holding a penny <laughs> with a note that says, some little pieces of home, A. That's awesome. Who's A? Alfred. Oh. It's a holdover. Oh. That's yeah, nice. he had it set up for him. And I love that he just picks it up and he's like. So then uh, he calls Oracle and Oracle appears in like a holographic oh, form. Oh, yay. And he's like, okay, get us out of here. We got to go to Belgium. Wait, is Oracle like a robot? Oracle is, okay, so Barbara Gordon is Oracle. Yeah. Barbara Gordon was also Batgirl. When uh, she was paralyzed by the Joker, she took on the name Oracle. But when she needed to be... She came up with a brand. Ah. Uh, and this image... Turned into, like, AI software? No, she's alive. No, I meant, like, she yeah. turned into well, a... She, she turned her anymore. brand of Oracle into an AI software. Yes, like, when she called... It's not AI. She's just... She's on the phone. Oh, she oh is so that is her. That is her. Oh, okay. But when she calls people, instead of seeing Barbara, you see the image of Oracle. I see. So, so you, got, you got something to look at. Yeah, it's yeah. the Wizard of Oz, essentially. Sure. <laughs> In this it is. But, like, normally it's just, like... It's, it's usually just a two-dimensional image on a screen. Mm. But, uh, yeah. And she also uses a voice scramble when she calls people. Okay. Cause like yeah, she if it, cause Oracle does a lot of shady fucking shit, <laughs> and if anybody knew about it, right? That'd she be, doesn't. I was gonna say like, well, Batman knows who she is, but she doesn't only work for Batman. That's right. Okay. That's right. She used to only work for Batman, but then like, you know, if I've got like a person who's just constantly plugged in, who's gonna be able to monitor everything that's going on, I guess I'll share Oracle with the Justice League mm. or the superhero community. Right. Although after Tower of Babel the superhero community receded from the Oracle. Mm. She's like, no one calls me anymore to get information and it's like really crucial that I help these people. What the fuck, Batman? He's like, well, well more time for me. <laughs> you know what, I'll you, still were, talk you, to you were being spread too thin anyway. That was pretty much his approach. She's like, God damn it. Uh, I felt like you needed to focus. Yeah, you need to refocus. Important. Yeah, on the bat tasks. Right, so uh, he, he tells Oracle to scrub any footage of Bruce Wayne leaving Interpol. Mm. That's the first thing. Batman, of course, he's met Equilibrium now. He knows right. exactly what she looks like. Right. So he's like, well, I'll get Oracle to do it. So <laughs> they, they know where she last was. So he has Oracle just pull right. every security camera everywhere, searching for this woman matching the description he gives. He doesn't just draw a perfect sketch of her from no, memory? No, he ha- <laughs> it's faster to do it this way. So <laughs> I he- could, but... 
that would take uh, about three minutes longer than this by <laughs> my right, calculations. Right. So. so he pulls up her. He's like, okay, there she is. Got it. We got her locked up. We know who she is. Not, we, we're not going to lock her up yet because she's, of course, on the run. She's not going to like be that easily caught because she was trained by Ducard. Because Ducard earlier was like, uh, you are you are one of my you are you are one of my two best students. Right. And it's like, this oh, is the other. Ducard was. Oh, you held on to that, you tricky bastard. Yeah, 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 yeah. she was she was trained by Ducard. He goes, well, I guess it's time, Oracle. You have to contact them all. You must contact the European Alliance of the Bat. What? <laughs> it's like this whole menagerie of people. Oh. The the European Alliance of the Bat is. This is like what hackers, they have to contact all the hackers around the planet. <laughs> yes, but they're not hackers. These they are- They're gonna bat the planet. <laughs> bat the planet! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hashtag bat the planet. That's it, That's hashtag bat the planet. Uh, the European Alliance of the Bat is generals, heads of state, uh, any low lives, a, 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 a network of people who owe Batman big time. Mm. Because he saved them. Well, or yes, help them or help way. them in some way. Yeah, or save people that were their responsibility. Yes. In the case of like heads of state and so forth. Exactly. Yeah. So he's like, I'm calling it. Like Ducard was right about needing friends and mm. backup. So and like, look at how much faster this story is moving now that I've called Oracle. Right. So I guess I'll call like the European Alliance of the Bat a thing that was just made up for this book. So is Superman like dead? Right. He's not in this book. <laughs> And right. Hundreds of people have now died. <laughs> it's time to call <laughs> Superman. Amazing. How many people have to die before, before you, pick you call up the Superman? Lois. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, what yeah, I did just save, one. He did save Lois at least once, so you know, mm. come on. Ah. Uh, you know what? I, I I appreciate it because it's like it's a Batman. Thing. Right. We don't like, need Superman in there. We don't need to complicate it that much. Plus, look, this is obviously be... a different world or a different timeline or a different thing. Yeah, maybe he's something dead must or have something. happened. Yeah, something yeah. happened. Like well, maybe he's like he's just too proud. I mean, the other thing I think is this was originally called The Dark Knight, and it's like I'm not gonna have the last act have Superman in it. Mm. It's too many parallels. It's too close. You know, I'm yeah. Tom Taylor. I'm making a name for myself. I'm not gonna be called a hack. Right. Who ripped off Frank Miller. Maybe this is in, essentially in the Frank Miller universe right. unofficially, and, and Superman, Superman is a like a dog. Yeah, Even though essentially dog for the he, government. He's a bootlicker. He also brings out a bat tank. Yeah, that's true, bat tank. The mobile yeah, cave. It's definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's a tank, and he yeah. uses it like one. It is a tank, though. So he sends uh, the image of equilibrium to everybody. Right. You know, like, just, if you see her, send me in the information. Right. You know, but, but once we figure out who she is, we'll we'll lock it down. Yeah, like keep it off the, the public channels. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. Don't have everyone looking for her. Right, right. So you've all gotten lists of names of people in your area. Right. Those people should be protected at all costs. These are anybody that I saved the, in yeah, Europe, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. this is also good because now the people he saved may not die. That's right, that's right. They're all being pulled in and sent to secure locations or at least but it being put into protective custody. So Batman arrives at the Brussels Convention Center, which is being holed up by Equilibrium and okay. her people. The funny thing, yeah. the Brussels Convention Center right. looks kind of like the Javits because it's all clear glass yeah, rectangles. Yeah, like but that. this is a cube. The, the, the fucking Javits is just a big complicated mess of <laughs> angles and glass. It is. But it's glass. It yeah, is glass. Right, yeah. It is glass. So uh, there, was, there was a party at the Convention Center wouldn't you know it? List of names on that party. Yeah, it's all. All okay, people yeah. that Batman saved. Oddly enough, the name of the party was People Batman Has Saved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a Batman appreciation party. <laughs> all she had to do is poison the Not a bad idea. Fucking, yeah. All she had to do is poison the champagne. <laughs> it's, but, a, it's a people who've been saved by Batman reunion. There we go. Yeah. And, and Batman will be there. <laughs> So we donate to like sort the Batman of. fund or whatever something. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll donate to the European Alliance of the Bat. Uh, so the commissioner here has like surrounded the building. They've got, they're gonna send in a negotiator. Mm -hmm. Batman's like, don't send a negotiator. <laughs> She's going to kill them all. Mm -hmm. So what do you want us to do? I'm going in. I'm right. gonna be the negotiator. Yeah. Equilibriums won't negotiate without their leader. <laughs> It's that's fifth element here. That, that's very true. He is he is that kind of negotiator. Yeah. So he he just drops in. He faces equilibrium, and she's just like, you know, I really I really respected you at one point, but I couldn't see you for what you really are. I guess okay. that includes negotiation. You're a jackbooted thug. <laughs> yeah, a fascist. You may want to take a few steps back. Hostages, get behind me. The fucking tank just roars through the building <laughs> and nice. lands between. Equilibrium and him. Oh right. yeah, so it creates a barrier. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. 
just I, the sequence of it landing and everyone just being like, motherfucker. <laughs> it's so dope. It's just, Goo! Like this thing is the size of a building. It's ridiculously huge. How this could is, he drive it around? <laughs> this is the best, carefully. best Batman appreciation convention we've ever had. <laughs> yeah, bravo! <laughs> this is very elaborate. This entire scenario yeah. you've uh, depicted I mean, here. This is tens of I thousands really of euros she was in gonna damage. Kill me. Yeah, yeah. I really, felt, I really felt fear for my life. Oh man, I don't know what, how they're gonna up this next year. <laughs> yeah. When she killed that pale. one guy as an example, I thought that was real blood. Like he very <laughs> convincingly died. No, I'm sorry. Marco is gone. So uh, Squire is like, everybody get in the bat truck. <laughs> so everybody gets in the truck nice. and Batman just dives in, just starts taking, he's like, I gotta stay close and just take everybody down. Right. Until she gets to me. Right. What about the metahuman? Oh, oh yeah, well, well, uh, we'll deal he, with him later. We'll deal with him in a minute. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> Batman and like so equilibrium makes her way to Batman and two of them mm -hmm. fight. And he's like, oh shit, like, oh, she's yeah, super trained. She's super trained. She's younger than me. She's mm. faster than me. Like, she's going, like she's, the mutant leader. Yeah, ca yeah, yeah. And I have to beat her in front of her cronies. No, no, he doesn't demoralize them. He's just fighting. <laughs> Turn them Actually, into my cronies. She goes for like a killing blow by gouging his eyes out. Oh. And he's like, if I didn't have fucking cool reflective things in there, right. she would already be in my brain. Oh. So uh, he's like, okay, go. <laughs> like Squire, take everybody and go. Mm -hmm. Oracle, I need you to release the CN gas. And so like the, the bat tank itself just blasts gas out of the nice. truck. <laughs> he drops the, 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 the gas mask and she's like, oh fuck, there's tear <laughs> gas. Everybody get the hell out. And before she even finishes the sentence, he's like, he's boom, punches her in the face. Nice. <laughs> he's like, I, all the training in the world doesn't matter if you can't fucking see. <laughs> Then the metahuman shows up, uh, and just yeah, it's it's rough. Mm. Uh, it looks like he tries to eat him. It, it, he well, it grabs him and uh, he's like, "Go! You gotta! You gotta go! You, the city has to fall!" And so equilibrium gets away. As, and Batman's like, "Oh, there's a backup plan." Oh, yeah, I yeah. see. There's well, more. Batman to this. faces the big guy. Yeah, uh, Squire just blackjacks him, and she's like, oh, "Come on." <laughs> so they go, and most of equilibrium's people have been taken out. Okay, but not equilibrium. But not yeah. And he's like, yeah, I'm not surprised you didn't get her. That's fine. <laughs> so she goes, uh, so the, the commissioner that called Batman is like, I got a call from France. Ducard uh, went missing when they collected him. Like you sent, you know, the, the European Alliance to collect everybody that was on the list. Ducard's missing. Um, and he goes, is anybody hurt? And she's like, nope, just a note that says, meet me where we first met, no masks, at dawn. Hmm. So Batman goes back to the Louvre and in the little like square is Ducard just smoking away? <laughs> okay, so here's what's going on. Well, he's like, Info dump. Okay. Well, but Ducard explains, you know, like, after you left, I took on Charlotte, and mm. Charlotte was... I had to fill the void. I had to fill the void. Like, you yeah, left. You left, you son of a... And you arrested me. Or tried to. Yeah. You, you... Was Charlotte also an orphan? Uh, it doesn't matter, but yes. <laughs> okay. Like, that's not what she's trying to get revenge for. No, no. Uh, but she, she was... She had a few key differences from Bruce Wayne, <laughs> which is that she was happy to kill people. Right and terrifyingly good at what she did. So then he goes, so anyway, I'm telling you this grim, grisly backstory about who Charlotte is and what a badass she is and how she murders people indiscriminately, but she left it all behind. And he's like, oh God, why? And he's like, because she found something better. And he has a photo of her with her husband and, and infant child. Mm. And he goes, do you keep pictures of all of your <laughs> like protégés in your wallet families. with their families? And he goes, "Always." no. <laughs> no, of course I do. Because she Look was- Look at this. Right. <laughs> He says like oh. she was very she was very special. Mm. I don't know what that means, but maybe it's like he looked at her as a father figure. Uh, I see. But uh, more right. special than you, Bruce. Yeah. But he goes anyway. But there was this man that comes into the equation named John Gallagher. Do you remember his name? And he goes, Yeah, Liverpool. Like a few days before we saved London. And he's like, Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a few days before we were we saved London ten years ago, the original Knight and Squire from the like current continuity mm -hmm. uh, and Batman. Uh, Sprang into action to try and stop like a, uh, a, a gun smuggling ring. But uh, they heard that Batman was coming, and so they planned a distraction by setting some fires mm. in the area. And there were two people inside John Gallagher, who was an accountant, who was just an innocent bystander, just okay. trapped under rubble, and he's, burn he's gonna burn to death. The other person was a woman who was part of the drug smuggling ring who was like, I did not sign up for murdering people and setting mm. fires. Mm -hmm. She went back and for her trouble was caught in the crossfire and was in the fire as well. So both of them were rescued. Okay. And then Batman arrested her. Sure. Um, for being a drug smuggler. Yep. 
Yeah. A gun smuggler. And gun he goes, smuggler. yeah, but if you hadn't saved John Gallagher, a lot more people would be alive today. Because a few years later, John Gallagher would get drunk and drive a car <laughs> and hit Charlotte's car and kill her husband and child. Uh, okay. So Charlotte loses her family. Yeah. And blames Batman, not the drunk driver. Well, oh no, she, the, the Gallagher comes out of the car. He's like, "Oh my God, is everybody okay?" She snaps his neck immediately. Oh my God! And then couldn't accept the randomness of what happened, and focused her insanity and her insane training, <laughs> and her malice, yeah, and, and her, her hate. and her hatred, <laughs> and poured it into a rip-off Batman costume, <laughs> and became Equilibrium. I see. She wants to undo. Wait, she's undoing everything that Batman yeah, has ever she's saved. Yeah, she's like if Batman. It, if Batman hadn't saved was Gallagher, Char was Charlotte the one in the building too? No, that's somebody no. else. That's somebody else. Okay, that's what yeah, I figured. No, no. Char yeah. Charlotte figures if Batman didn't save John Gallagher, my family'd still be alive. Right. They should be alive. John Gallagher should never have been alive because Batman shouldn't have existed. Right. So I'm going to undo all of Batman's mistakes by killing everyone that he's rescued because they shouldn't be there. It, it's all about equilibrium. I'm trying right. to balance the scales. Right, here. it's not just about that one guy who killed my oh, family. Oh no. None of them should exist. Right. Cosmically. Yes. It's wrong. Exactly. <laughs> That's insane. Yes. That's terrible. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Wow, okay. So. So she, yeah, she lost it in a very different way than Batman. Uh, completely, yeah. yeah. And he goes, Henry, I, I heard one of her people talking does she know that I saved London with you? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, we gotta go. <laughs> we have to evacuate all of London. Oh yeah. my God. But wait, there's gonna be people in London who weren't in London before who weren't saved by Batman. Yeah, fuck it. What? The city has to die. She's mm -hmm. also killing people who also have families who will miss them. Yeah, well, but I'm crazy. Yeah, so, but they were saved by Batman. They shouldn't exist. That's right. There's innocence in London. Yeah, though. the Linden should not. London should not exist. So Equilibrium breaks into the prison. She saves most of her people, including the fucking like metahuman dude, the big oh. dude. Batman uh, takes a private plane. Like they they set it up. Mm -hmm. He's just Batman in it. I don't know. How did he get we it? We don't even bother. Yeah. But uh, Maybe he went in Ducard. as Bruce Wayne and yeah. then he changed his outfit. Right, changed Batman. it in here, yeah. yeah. But Batman, Ducard, Squire, they're all together. They're talking. Uh, Batman calls the European Alliance of the Bat, which mm -hmm. they say like three or four times. I'm like, don't say that. You got to stop saying that. It's too much. It's ridiculous. It's too long. You got to come up with an acronym. So yep. he says, hey, everybody, uh, London is in danger. Every life in the city could be, could be destroyed. I'm sending you a list of materials that could destroy a city without much muss and fuss. Like, mm. all the things you might need, look at them. They might seem innocuous, they're not. And she's like, and Squire goes, you have, you have city murdering plans in your head? <laughs> and Batman just stoically sits there in yeah. silence. And one of them is like, what do you need from us? Like, what do you need us to do? And he goes, I need honesty from you. I need to talk to your military generals. I need to know if any of you made any big military sales to any unsavory people <laughs> that might have. And then a, a, a four-star American general goes, uh, Batman, can we talk privately for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, of course, general. Can we have a breakout session real quick? <laughs> what happens. I just want to shoot the shit, you know, nothing uh, court, uh, related to what we're talking about now, of course. Yeah, he sends him a, a sales sheet, and he goes, uh, the sale went smoothly, and then everything we sold just disappeared. And Batman's like, I see that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He goes, this is not a group the country should be selling weapons to, General. <laughs> he says, I'm aware, Batman. Uh -huh. How can I make it up to you? <laughs> and he goes, I need makes and models, spec sheets and systems, and any potential vulnerabilities. And I need all of you to access this without alerting anybody else in the military because mm. they might be part of this. Right. So they land in London at a private airfield. Clearly, the fuck, there's a woman who works there. Who's like, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> whatever. Who, who chartered this plane? A stewardess Boom. of some kind. Just, just like, stewardess, Ooh. the pilot. Yeah. yeah. We Hell, need Batman. It could be some... her plane. That's true. He yeah. just called in a favor from one of the European oh, Alliance of the Batman. Yeah, yes. that's probably it. Yeah. The EU AOB. <laughs> the Yoob. <laughs> They go to the castle of Beryl Hutchinson, the location of Knight and Squire. Uh -huh. Beryl's okay. She's back in her knight costume. The Iron Giant is apparently there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Squire goes off and he's talking to Hutchinson. And he's like, hey, listen, like, thanks for sending her over. Like, she's cool. And she's like, yeah. I assumed it was be like, I didn't send her over. And he goes, yeah, what? I figured it out, you know. 
And she's like, what do you mean? He's like, I know why you picked her now. She's the daughter of the woman oh. from the fire that saved John Gallagher because she's a criminal. We rescued her and then I arrested her. And Hutchinson's like, yeah, and as a result, she never got to watch her daughter grow up. And her daughter had like a crappy childhood. You see, like I tried to fix some of your shit because mm. of your like antiquated senses of like whatever justice you believe in. Right. And he's like, look, you know, that's the breaks. You break yeah, the, she law. Broke the law. She broke the law. That's all. You know, that's on you. Yeah. And she <laughs> goes, you, yeah, but you didn't think about the consequences of your actions. Like, is Bruce Wayne comfortable with ending a family? And Batman's like, nah. So anyway, the Batman and Squire leave. I didn't end that family. She ended that family when she started <laughs> with crime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, I didn't tell her to have children or anything. You know, then be Ducard calls Batman while Batman and Squire are racing through London. And Ducard's like, hey, so... I tried to stop her. The the metahuman Sullivan, he, I intercepted a call that he made to one of his family members in London to leave, huh. and so I tracked his call. I made it to there, and you know I'm I'm not as spry as I used to be. You know, like I tried to unmake the mistake, but uh, I, I I maybe I would have gotten away with it too. But I had so many bullet holes already that the new bullet holes made it even more complicated for me. <laughs> so. Uh, anyway, I, I got a couple of them, but I didn't get Charlotte. Mm. Because Batman arrested everyone rather than killing them, weren't mm -hmm. they all saved by Batman? Uh, well, no, because no. Batman doesn't choose to, it's not like Batman would kill them. You know, it's it's more like if, if they had been in imminent danger, irrespective yeah. of Batman having caught them. They right. would have been now, about to be hit by a truck or something. Yeah. <laughs> now, does Sullivan, calling his family member right. who would have died, saving them, you know they have to die anyway. Yeah, that means yeah. that she would definitely kill them, but they're gonna get killed in the explosions anyway. <laughs> well, other people can save people. It's just Batman who can't save people. Yeah, but, yeah right. but they're going to die because the entire city was saved by them. So saving someone from the city <laughs> takes away from what she's trying to no, do. Yeah, she's gotta hunt that person down. That's right, that's right. Yeah, she's like, I know what you did. Right. I know one got out. Oh yeah. And I will. And I'll get you. I will, I will get them. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you know, Ducard is on the is on this ferry where uh, Equilibrium is operating from mm -hmm. on the Thames, and um, you know he's taking out a few of these people, and he's just he's just talking to Batman like, well, uh, I suppose this is the end of the long and dusty road for old Henry Ducard, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, Henry, this is not you. This isn't your fault, man. Like that was Charlotte. She made her choices. She made her bed. She's got to sleep in it. Yeah. And he's like, and he goes, but listen, like you you made me too. So like it's not all on you. Like, I'm I'm pretty fucking dope. Right. And that's on you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You you have Batman as one of your proteges. Right. Like yeah. like every time I've saved someone, like you've kind of saved someone too. And he's like, mm. that's kind of you to say. That's very nice of you to say. Does that mean all the dead people are also out of my conscience? No, that's yeah. Equilibrium's twisted well, system yeah. of justice. See, Fuck that. She hasn't killed everyone that I saved yet. So right. the ledger is still in the positive that's for right. you. If she succeeds, it will have wiped everything out, and then you won't have anything going for you. Which but. is why we got to stop her right now. Yeah, <laughs> but but it's so sweet because like you know, Equilibrium has found Ducard. She knows he's there. They, she sends Sullivan, the fucking metahuman, to go get him. Mm -hmm. There's still a couple of like bat people that are descending on Ducard. Yeah. It's just a really sad moment where like Batman's just kind of like, all right, like goodbye. Yeah, I know you you're know? gonna die. I can't stop. Right, it. like you've yeah. been shot, and like you know they're they're descending on your location. Yeah. But he says goodbye as he's like facing death. Mm. The Batman just drives the car off the bridge into the ferry onto the dudes. <laughs> it's like no, they, some of them get out of the way. One of them doesn't. He doesn't have to save him. Uh, wham! <laughs> I love the fucking Sullivan. Oh shit! <laughs> Booge! But Batman's like no. No more deaths on my conscience, except for the, this guy. Except for that guy. The no, person he, he should have hit was it. Sullivan. Yeah. If you're gonna hit someone with a car, hit the big well, guy. Sullivan moves, but yeah, yeah. He's too fast. No, but yeah, no, that guy, no, he's not dead, he's in traction. Yeah. That's not dead. So I, I calculated the I didn't force take away of the his life, just his, his ability to right. walk. It That's would right. shatter his spine, but he, he would make it with uh, oh, yeah. intense surgery and... And, 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 and care. Yeah. So, which he won't get. <laughs> which he will not get in the in the bottom of the river. So, uh, yeah, Batman, Knight, Squire, Ducard is there. Uh, they 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 get into an awesome like scrape. Uh, Batman just clocks the fucking dude, big dude. Mm -hmm. uh, Equilibrium's there. She's like, "You're too late. For once, you can't save them." And so they hear the. You drones. fool! I've sent them out five minutes. Yeah, ago. Yeah, I sent them thirty-five yeah. minutes ago. The one that's already been burning. No, so the drones come. Oh. You can see this whole, like, the sky is just filled with military drones. 
Sold by the U.S., sold again to Equilibrium. <laughs> and Ducar's just like, oh, shit. Like, Charlotte, come on. Like, you can't bring them back. This isn't going to fix anything. Right. She's like, I, I, she's like, just use the controls and change the actions. There are no controls. <laughs> like, I made it so that you can't do that. And Batman goes, they were programmed. They were right. pre-programmed. They were pre-programmed, yeah. And then reprogrammed. Because <laughs> I found them before. <laughs> well, I had Oracle do it. Yeah. And... Yeah. Yeah, so they're just they just go in another direction. <laughs> and, he, and Ducard's like, "What's going on?" He goes, "I listened to you. I I brought in my friends." <laughs> and in that day, nice. Bruce Wayne's heart grew three sizes. <laughs> and you see, like, oh, Oracle look at old Tim Drake, old uh, d- 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 Dick Grayson. Grayson sorry, Grayson, it's all right. <laughs> I'm not gonna take it back. <laughs> no, 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 no. This, no, this is this is what I do. How stupid I am. Yeah, uh, Oracle's like all under control, Batman. Nice job. All right, and and you know, Dick is there. He's old yeah, I he's guess old. Yeah. and he's like hey uh, do you want me to like have Babs shape them in a, in a bat for you or anything <laughs> and he goes no Nightwing thank you Oracle you guys are great <laughs> that's that that's them mm-hmm. and then uh, Ducard takes out his gun and he goes okay well time to clean up my mess and he points the gun in Equilibrium's face yeah. and Batman hits it with a batarang like, no. and she goes dude Come on. Come on! Like she's, she's not gonna, gonna stop. She's just trying to kill a city, dude. Come on! Yeah, but now she has to kill herself because I saved her. That's. She picks up the gun and she goes, "That's what he does. He saves people." And then and, and she yells at him. And she talks about Joker and how he's how many people he's killed. Oh god! Hundreds of thousands of people. She goes, "So much pain has come from your intervention. You're an imbalance." She takes off her mask. She's like, "No!" And like, I know what you look like. I figured out who yeah. you are. Yeah. You know and then Squire walks in front of the gun. And she goes because she's pointing it at yeah. that Batman. She goes, "He's never saved me." But he did just stop Descartes from shooting you. So she goes, you're right. He saved me. She puts the gun under her chin and fires. Batman stops the bullet with his gauntlet. Like oh. he, just, he grabs it. And she goes, no, you can't take this away from me. And with the same hand, <laughs> punches her in the face. <laughs> That's awesome. And then opens it. The bullet just falls down. And... Uh, and Ducard's like, do you think you can stop every bullet? And he goes, I stopped that one. He goes, yeah, and you shatter probably every bone in your yeah. hand to do it. It's <laughs> worth it, though. Yeah. Oh, God. And then, and then Ducard's Take like... Take me to the underground hospital. He goes, okay, so I tried to kill her. Nah. Let's go. Yeah. And Batman's like, I'm not arresting you today, Ducard. <laughs> He's like, wow, that's different. This is where Superman comes in. I'm going to send her to the fucking Phantom Zone. <laughs> Usually when it's... City. I'm not There's arresting a city you today. Killer. And the ending of the story is the, uh, the mom... She's leaving prison mm. and uh, proceeds to, ex- and Bruce Wayne's there with uh, uh, Hutchinson and they're talking and she's just like, so what the fuck? I- I'm supposed to be in jail forever. And they're like, oh yeah, no, well, I'm rich and powerful, so now you're not. <laughs> and she's like, why? And he goes, well, I'm Bruce Wayne. That's Beryl Hutchinson. And this, and she's like, oh my God, like my daughter. And the- your daughter's like, hi mom. And they are brought together. And Batman's like, it's about equilibrium. It's about undoing what I've done. Mm. Okay, that's nice. Which is why this should have been called Batman Equilibrium. Right. Yeah. Right. But no one would have bought that. (laughs) Would they buy Batman Detective? The Detective. Like, what did he detect? I detected my past mistakes and fixed them. Right. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, like, and then, like, wait. So in the beginning, he's like, I'm leaving Gotham forever. First of all, I guess Gotham's good because they have, like, Nightwing and Oracle. Is that the idea? Is he, what, what are you going to stay in London for the rest of your life? Is that yeah. the role, is it is, your role in the book now? Is Nightwing going to take up the mantle of the bad again? I, I doubt it. Like, did no, you, now he's going to work with Batman You, <laughs> I mean, like, is he going to, like, but it, did he learn a lesson? And he's like, oh, he's, like, found a new lease on life. Is he going to go back? And be a better Batman now? Mm. Like, no, no, I, I burned the house down. I burned the house down. No, we, we see it. It's not yeah, it's burned It's fine. Down. But, uh, yeah, it's... it's. No, I directed all the drones to Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just pointed them at Wayne Manor. It's the end of it. Well, I'm sure he sent them back to the United States. Right. With little notes on it's them. The like, land. I found your lost drones. Yeah, General So-and-So did this. Like, yep. <laughs> yep. Signed with little bats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Try to yeah, keep definitely. closer watch on your toys. Yeah, please. Don't sell to the wrong people. Uh, how is she going to destroy London with 50 drones? I mean, what's the payload of a drone? It's like a couple of missiles. I mean, you could you could probably kill a few hundred people. I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe, maybe really a couple weapons. thousand. It depends on what the payload was. Well, they were they all, all like nukes, scattered together. But then you only need one. Then you only need one. That's true. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like. Let me see those drones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're 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 photo accurate to. Yeah, like, they're what, just drones. But those are just drones. But they're future drones. They're These future are future drones. drones. They're future weapons, each of which can kill one fiftieth of a city. Yes. <laughs> That's, I, I think those are pretty good odds. 
One fiftieth of a city from a drone? Yeah. You can't you kill know, a city with fifty planes. Well, even is pretty even big. with no air it's defenses not whatsoever, that big. and every like, plane they got bombed all of its World bombs, War II. and they you, still recovered. You don't yeah, need, they got bombed hundreds of times. They don't World need to War blow II. up like Piccadilly Circus. Like you could, you, there are areas <laughs> of London that you could be like, oh, effectively London is destroyed, and there are a couple people who are like, uh, uh technically, mate. They are not. We're gonna come back from this like we did before. Right, I doubt it. Each plane has four bombs. Okay. You can see them here. Just saying, London's really big. It's not, I don't know if you understand how big I, it is. I've been, I know how, how big it is. how small an explosion saying, is you, compared to the size of a city. They're targeted attacks. Like, you're, you're crippling, you know, ones at Buckingham Palace and like, you know, ones at like the, like, headquarters of the major police force. You know, like maybe you're just destroying the city metaphorically and uh, like, uh, maybe we're destroying like supports for it. It's gonna collapse oh, and it on falls itself. Into the ocean. Or there's a fault line or we're getting uh, rid of like a, a water barrier. No, they, they, they would have gone underground for that one. That would have been more, it would have less easy to hand wavy uh, hack like yeah. they do this. I do really appreciate though that like, he, in the, he, he states it's enough missiles to level the city. There you go. That's what you he know states. what it is? Then he says it's over 50. I'm like, that's not enough. Well, it is over 50. <laughs> it has over to be like 50. over 500, 500 or more. It's over 50. Yeah. That's just, oh, it's technically over Technically true. There's like more than three of them. Yeah. yeah. Batman has like a thousand drones. <laughs> yeah, I'm still cor three. correct. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's how many he counted in like the split second that he had yeah. to look at them. It's actually 30 times that number. But what I if, could only count 50. Well, I started with 50 and then I know I can multiply based on uh, the size yeah, and trajectory. Yeah. Like, okay, that's actually a thousand. What if each drone dropped its payload, but then the drone itself was a bigger payload there you inside? There like, down the front has like an even bigger bomb. The Ducard stuff is great in this I book. love it. And I love his design. I don't know why. I just, I love seeing this like cocky Frenchman being like, oh, hello, Batman. What the, <laughs> are, you, are you late once again? Ah. Uh, yeah, it's a good contrast. It is. Yeah, yeah Batman's like, fuck you! I gotta, I'm a, just an American! I'm a cold spring of a man! He's like, wait, 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 you just have some wine and then calm down? I can't calm down! I gotta, my parents are dead! Uh, you're a criminal! Yeah, you're a criminal! You should be in fucking jail! That is true, and, and yet I'm and here! And yet I'm here. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Who are you to resist, huh? <laughs> Come on! Let's go to Euro Disney and... Uh, <laughs> And drink in public. It's, it's called Disneyland Paris now. I know, I know. <laughs> Probably because we've been making fun of it uh, since its inception for being called Euro Disney. <laughs> yes. Hey, how about everybody? Batman, the detective, I guess? Pick up a copy in the comments down below. We'll see you guys next week with an all new episode of Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So long. That's yeah, really terrible title. I think just, there's a lot of other things you could call this. The worst is that they use the typeface, the same typeface, for the Dark Knight. It's like neither of them are very good. They were just like married to that blow.